Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, I am going to just do a first impressions on a powder, setting powder. It's the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder and I haven't used it at all so I said let me just do a video of me using it so you guys can get a, a feel of it and so can I because I haven't used it. So update i saw um i don't know if you guys saw my last video my air conditioner is on so if i am not like i think i'm loud enough um just letting you know that my hair is just crazy like insane um i've been using my or i, I started using my um uh, real technique sponge again i don't know i just picked it up one day and said let me start using this again and that's it that's how it came to be so to start off we're going to use or we're going to start with our primers and the primers I'm going to be using today is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris Magic Perfecting Base just to cover up my pores. So I'm going to be putting this first. I know I did a video um, talking to you guys about this. It's really moussey and I have a mirror in front of me so if you see me looking down that's what I am looking at. So, we're going to put that very lightly. Like, I'm not even grabbing as much. And patting it just where I have pores, which is here. And I've already moisturized my skin. Right here on my forehead. You know when you just do your hair, you don't want to be putting like anything in it? Well, that's how I feel like today. Like I just did my hair, I blow dried it, and I really need to get myself um, some hairspray so that my hair doesn't fall in my face like it is right now. And it stays. So, just a little bit because I'm going to be using two different primers and I don't want to put too much stuff on my face. So, I'm going to put that away and we're going to grab some of this. This is really good. This stuff is really good. Like, I'm impressed. So, just on top. I think this hair is going to bother me for the rest of this video. We're just going to go ahead and prime every other place on our face. And when we are finished with that, we are going to grab the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in Dark Brown. And using my other mirror, we are going to brush. And lightly fill them in. I don't like to darken them up too much unless it's a special occasion and there are going to be pictures taken of me. My brows don't show up in pictures. They don't. So I don't go heavy. This is the one 
brow that I hate. Gives me the hardest time. And this hair is giving me a hard time. That little strand of hair just keeps... This brush is really, really good. All right, so after we're done, I'm telling you this hair is driving me crazy. There we go. So after we're done with that, we are also going to add some. Oh my God, itchy. Benefit Gimme Brow. I'm just going to put some on my eyebrows. Now I like to let my primer set. On my face because I just want to make sure that when I put my foundation everything goes on really nice and smoothly. And I have a nice finish. So, it's it feels nice. I'm excited because I'm going to use a foundation I haven't used in my channel yet. So we're going to go in with, first, we're going to correct, color correct. And I'm going to use the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector in Medium. This has been my favorite product for many, many years. And my long, my nails are long. These are my nails, guys. I just do like a gel acrylic on top. But they're mine. You can tell. So I'm pretty excited. They're really long. But I need to cut them because they're getting in my way. So I have to like dig it in like that. Put some on here. which I don't like because I'll get it on my lower lash line sometimes because it's just very uncomfortable. But that's the only way I can do it. So we want to color correct, especially if your dark circles are dark like mine. So go ahead, use your favorite salmon color color corrector. Place that right underneath like this. I believe this color corrector that I buy at Ulta cost me like six dollars. It could be wrong. Maybe it'd be, it could be less than that, but I think it's around six dollars. And it lasts me a long time. I feel like I have to put more. we're done we're gonna go in with the NYX total control foundation and I have it in true beige this is like really 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 good it's very lightweight and I wear it to work and it lasts me a long time I gotta be careful with my brows y'all know I be getting like so this is how I wear it
then I have the brush for this and I was using it with the brush but it feels like it doesn't go on like it's not even going on my face I feel like the brush takes product away I could be wrong I might be using it wrong but I don't know This is a definite medium coverage for me, for my skin type and skin concerns, it is a medium coverage. I don't think it's full. For me, it's not. For you, it could be. It just depends the type of skin that you have. If you have this type of skin that doesn't have much texture or discoloration or any freckles, I have freckles on my nose and here um, those were you can still see some of my freckles on my nose but I don't mind the fact that you can see that because when I wear makeup or when I wear foundation it's not to look any different than I really look it's just to perfect my skin tone in general my whole thing about wearing makeup it's not to look different at all i don't want to look different i just want to look covered up i want my skin to look nice and flawless when it's not nice and flawless it's not so that's it all of that that's all i need to cover up all of my face maybe the next time I will show you how it looks like with the brush. You know what I should have done? I should have done half and half. Like half with the brush and half with this. But maybe next time I'll do that. Half and half so we can see the difference. After I am done with that, I go in with my concealer. And y'all know the drill, it's the Fit Me Concealer in Medium. This has been my favorite. You know what I want to buy? The other one. I used to use the other one for so many years. The one with the sponge on the top. I used to use that one for so many years and I stopped using it. I don't even know why. You know what it was? Because it got really expensive. That's what I think it was. The prices went up on the concealer. And I was like, no, I can't do that. So I picked up this one and I haven't put it down since. Um, but I want to pick it up and see if there's a difference between the two because this one's really, really creamy, really nice, and I like um, the coverage. I have a video um, of certain products that I started using or that um, I purchased and I didn't like, and I'm going to link it so y'all can see it. Um, because I like this one because it lasts very long on my face and un or underneath my eyes I bought this one and I can't I've tried it so many times with different types of setting powders and it don't do nothing for me it disappears so even though I used the NYX foundation I still have to go in and just cover up and when you cover up a blemish or a acne scar you always want to use pouncing motions and gentle Now for the good stuff. We're going to open this. We're going to open the Laura Mercier translucent powder. It comes with this. And I've seen people use it. But I don't know how to use it. So I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I'm going to use my beauty blender. Great. I'm just supposed to take this out with these nails. Alright. 
sticky to cover up the little holes. <laughs> All right, guys. Shake it up. Shake it up. This is where I usually set, what I usually set first. Can you tell the difference between the two eyes? Just cover that one up. I use very little. Just pour it in here. I use very little because I don't want it to cake up on me. I have dry under eyes. This is where it oxidizes on me during the day, on the sides of my nose. I do a lot of masks, so that's probably why it's so smooth. And the forehead is a problem for me, so I'm going to set that. finally I get to use it I bought it like a month ago and I didn't use it ever I was like I gotta do a video I gotta do a video and it looks nice it looks nice I like that home. I'll keep using it every time I do a video and I can tell you how I've been feeling about it so now that everything else is set on my face I am going to do bronzing and I have this bronzer from pixie it says natural contour palette shape and shadow And I don't know if I should use it because it looks like a red tone. I'll show you the packaging. And I don't even know if I should use it. So I haven't used it. I've swatched it, but I haven't used it. My favorite bronzer. Yeah, I know which one it is. I pull it out. It's broken and everything. It's the bronzer palette from e.l.f. So I'm going to go ahead and use that because that's what I always use. So I've been using the one next to it. Have I? Or the one in front? There, it's just that they're both. The one that I like is done. So we're just going to lightly. I'll just use all three. You always got a bronze, especially in the summer. I don't bronze in the winter because I live in the north and it's just not realistic to me. So I don't. I look pale, just like the weather outside. But now that we are in summer months, just add that. bronzer. This is what I'm using. I'm using these two. And all of them. I'm just being very liberal with the contour shades. That contour palette is like you need it. It's like six bucks I want to say. And you need it. You need to buy it. I'm going to repurchase it just because that one right there is done. I might not because I got, now that I'm thinking about it, I got so many duos of e.l.f. with a bronzer in it. I don't think it makes sense to buy another one. Let's be, let's be real for like, you know, for like talk, as we talk about bronzers. Because I don't want to like 
hoard. I don't want to call it hoard. I just, want to, I just don't want to collect too much of the same thing. So, I think we are nicely bronzed. You always want to bronze whatever you have shadow, a natural shadow on your face. Because you want to get your face dimension. So, there we go. I can put this away. Bronze that. Bronze the whole thing. Uh, now, I'm going to go and do my brows. No, not my brows. I'm going to do my eyeshadow with well first we're going to start with the smashbox photo finish shadow primer and this is true i've been using it to work every time i do my makeup and it works it does not well my shadow doesn't move it doesn't disappear don't go nowhere with this stuff so 24 hours this is 24 hours this baby will last then I bring it up then you want to use padding motions and like I told you guys in the prior couple of videos behind um, prior to this one I tried the Milani one for a while and it wasn't working for me. It didn't do anything for me. For me. So this stuff, the 24 hour photo finish shadow primer from Smashbox box is the real deal. It works. It does what it's supposed to do. So you guys know the drill. I'm going to take the shadow, the shade and light eye contour palette from Kat Von D. We're going to take the lightest shade in the corner. My favorite. start with or well, we're gonna pick up the Sigma tapered blending and I'm gonna take that shade in the corner and we are going to use this as a transition shade so we're gonna take two coats Give our eyes some definition. Like that. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush. It's the Luxie 231 brush. And I'm going to take this shade. I'm going to go into the crease. Just closer into the crease. Lightly. give some definition more of a defined look to the eye
Okay. We're going to go back into that first shade we started with. We're going to take a different brush from Sigma, the E55 Sigma brush, and we're going to go into this shade, and I'm going to highlight my bone. I like my brow bone. I like that. I like this. Um, highlighter shade. Now we are going to use another brush. We're going to go in with the e.l.f. Professional Eye Crease Brush. And we're going to take this color. And we are going to start to define our lower lash line. a little bit. And then we're going to take that deep burgundy shade again. And we're going to go in with this color as well. We're going to keep it a little bit lower. Take this brush, buff out, and brush lines. Okay, 
now the fun part. It's the part I love. That's that's it. That's what we're gonna do for the um, eye look. Um, I'm gonna take the Big Shot Colossal Mascara from Maybelline, and we are going to coat our eyelashes. This would be pretty with some falsies, and I have falsies. And I take like an hour just to put them on. No, I'm just playing. Um, Falsies will yank your eyelashes off. I'm going to show you the kit that I have. I want to wear them. But I'm not going anywhere today. So I don't see the point. See that? See the difference? Between side and side. Much more volume. On in this side than the other one. And that's the whole point of mascara. You just gotta coat these babies up. As much as you possibly can. That's what I do. I love the lashes to be like fully coated. I'm gonna go shopping soon for a full coverage um, foundation because the last one I tried was the Wet n Wild Photo Finish Foundation. That's full coverage, but my skin reacted to it, so I brought it back the next day. Um, it was the smell that um, my skin reacted to. So we're taking the Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara from Maybelline to coat our lower lashes. And I haven't used that Gimme Brow brow from Maybelline in a long time. I have forgotten why, and it's because, I don't know if it's the color that they sent me when I had the Ipsy prescription, um, prescription, subscription, but it makes my brows look gray. Close up, it does. So, um, no, I don't like the color, I think it's the color that I don't like, and that's the reason I stopped using it. This is the color, what does it even say? It used to say it though. But it, it works. It keeps your eyebrows in place. Um, I remember that about it. This hair is in my way. It's just not helping me right now. Coat your lower lashes just to finish off your eye look. Now we're missing the fun part. Well, that's the fun part. Mascara for me is like the best part of um, makeup. It's my, my favorite. But I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter. 
and I have three different ones. I have this one from Tristique, which is a kind of beige color, and it's a cream. This one is a shimmering facial whip by e.l.f. Um, and the color is Lilac Petal. And this one is Liquid Illumination by NYX. And I think these two are really a lot alike. They're like dupes for each other. So I think I'm going to go, oh my gosh, just to show you guys the e.l.f. one. Because I think it's like a dollar. And it's pinky toned. I'm going to show you. So it might go well with my look because it's a little bit... I went with a little bit of a burgundy. See that? No, no. Swipe it out. Just really nicely. I'm not so much in too too much highlight. I like being as natural as I um, possibly can. So highlight is something that I don't wear all the time. But if I move side to side, you'll see my highlight. And I'm going to finish off with a like shimmery, it's not shimmery, well, it's not really shimmery, but I think it does have a little shimmer, does it? Yeah. This is the Japanesque Velvet Blush Shade 2. And I've already made um, an impression on that because I love this blush. It stays on. Techniques sponge. Make sure everything is nicely blended. Now for the lips, I like the NYX Butter Gloss. It's what I have on my lips right now. I think it's perfect. But I'm gonna go in with the Rimmel London Exaggerate Full Cover Lip Liner in the shade 018 Addiction. It's like a creamy, um. lip liner on the sides And before we fix our hair, because it's going all over the place, we're going to finish with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. It's all right. It's all right. It's not no special. I mean, I've been using it, but... I miss my elf one though, not gonna lie. So. 
Mouth is dry. too much. Alrighty. So we are officially done. So I hope you enjoyed my hair is driving me crazy. This video that you followed along if you had the products and if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel give a like to my video and i hope you guys have a wonderful day goodbye